Now in this example, we want to find the dissociation constant of an uncompetitive inhibitor. And uh, we do so by making some measurements of enzyme kinetics. We find the Km, the Michaelis-Menten constant, the affinity of the enzyme for the substrate uh, at 491 micromolar when we don't have any con uh, inhibitor present. And in the presence of an inhibitor, which is indicated by this up here, uh, we find uh, a Km of 102 micromolar when we have a certain concentration of the inhibitor present. And we also measure Vmax um, in the absence and also in the presence of this inhibitor. And from our data, we want to find out what is the dissociation constant of the inhibitor. So let's think about what we have here. So we first of all start off with an enzyme plus substrate and in a reversible reaction for the Michaelis-Menten equation, we have an enzyme substrate complex. And then we uh, get the enzyme plus the product. And a typical feature of an uncompetitive inhibitor is that it interacts exclusively with the enzyme substrate complex. So we've got an, the inhibitor works only with the enzyme substrate complex in a reversible uh, manner and we form an enzyme substrate inhibitor complex. And the dissociation of that is given by the dissociation constant. I sometimes uh, indicated as KIU, which means to me that there is a uh, an uncompetitive inhibitor. And let's think about uh, how the parameters change when we have an uncompetitive inhibitor. So if we've got no inhibitor present, of course we've got uh, Km, we've got Vmax, and we also have Vmax over Km. These are the three enzyme parameters that we have. In the presence of an inhibitor, we have a Km up. That up, as I said, indicates that we have an apparent Km in the presence of an inhibitor. And this Km up is given as Km divided by the inhibition factor alpha. And this alpha is given as 1 plus the inhibitor concentration divided by the dissociation constant Kiu. So that is how our Km changes when we have the inhibitor present. Now, what is Vmax doing? We get a Vmax up. And this new Vmax in the presence of the inhibitor looks very similar. It is Vmax divided by alpha as well. And if we've got Vmax over Km, we've got a Vmax up over Km up. What we will find is that we've got Vmax over alpha divided by Km over alpha. So the alpha cancels out and we basically have Vmax over Km for this Vmax up and Km up. That means basically Vmax uh, does not change in the presence of this uncompetitive inhibitor. And what we are looking at is our dissociation constant, Kiu, and that is just simply defined as the concentration of the enzyme substrate complex times the concentration of the inhibitor divided by the concentration of the enzyme substrate inhibitor complex. 
But of course, it is quite difficult to find these concentrations, but we can use uh, the, uh, e this equation here, for example, and try to figure out uh, how we can actually determine this KIU. So we can write V max up equals V max divided by the factor alpha. And we can uh, solve this for alpha. We make alpha subtract. So alpha equals V max divided by V max apparent. And we also know that this alpha equals one plus the inhibitor concentration divided by Ki u if you want. So we bring the one to the other side and we have then Vmax over Vmax apparent, that's the one with the inhibitor, minus one, oops, I should write one not inhibitor here, so minus one equals the inhibitor concentration i over ki u. And if I so wish, I can put that into brackets, it makes it easier. So what I need to do is bring that to that side, bring this term to that side. And what I get is ki u equals the inhibitor concentration divided by Vmax over Vmax apparent minus one. And if I like, I can put that into brackets. So we've got everything here. Now all we need to do is uh, put in some numbers. So we know the inhibitor concentration that was here 547 nanomolar. So we've got four, 547 nanomolar divided by the ratio of the Vmax. So for the Vmax, we had 598, 598 micromolar per minute divided by the Vmax apparent. So that's 124 micromolar per minute minus one. And if I can see the micromolar per minute cancels out. And uh, if I put that into a calculator, I would get a KIU of roughly around 143. And the units that is left is here 143 nanometer. And I can also calculate the alpha. So that's uh, pretty easy. Alpha equals one plus the inhibitor concentration that was 547 divided by what I just calculated 143 uh, nanometer, na nanomolar that uh, cancels each other out and we would get an inhibition factor of 4.8 roughly. So here we've got our dissociation constant, 143 nanomolar with an alpha, the uh, inhibition factor of 4.8. So this is basically how we can calculate the uh, inhibition, the dissociation constant from measuring the Vmax and Vmax apparent in the presence of a certain amount of or certain concentration of inhibitor. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.